Hello folks, welcome to Jani.tv. This is Janaki Ram. We are certainly living in very interesting times. Just yesterday, OpenAI has finally announced the availability of APIs for ChatGPT and Whisper. The moment I saw the announcement, I was very excited because I wanted to always integrate the output of ChatGPT into DevOps workflows. But the API was lacking and with its availability, we can do a lot. So I have gone ahead and built a small AI ops bot, which is going to enable and empower DevOps and SREs to automate day-to-day -day tasks and operations that they often perform. So what is AI ops? AI ops is a mechanism where we infuse AI into operations all the way from code generation to observability and performing proactive actions like scaling and so on. So I'm going to walk you through certain steps that are very common in the CI CD process. And this is taking the help of ChatGPT programmatically. So let's get started. I'm pretty excited to show you what I have built. A quick disclaimer, this is a very early prototype and the output can be non-deterministic because of the way ChatGPT responds. So let me show you the code. All right. So what you see here is Python script that invokes ChatGPT API and helps us extract the output. So we start by importing the appropriate modules. Uh, the most important one is OpenAI. And then of course I need uh, a JSON uh, because we're dealing with the JSON payload. So the core thing is, is this. So we prompt the user to enter the task like generating a Docker file and then a file name where we're going to store the output. Now, every time a prompt is being made, we build the context. Now, remember the uniqueness of ChatGPT based on the ChatGPT Turbo 3 model is the ability to store context and to continue that whenever we interact. So it's very important for us to store the previous conversation as we go along. So as soon as we enter a specific task, I pass it on to something called build context, which is going to store the context that is basically how we are interacting with ChatGPT in a file on the disk. And the format looks something like this. Now, this is what is expected from the API. So you basically tell ChatGPT what it is. In my case, I'm saying you're an AI ops bot assisting with DevOps tasks. Then I play the role of a user and say, hey, I'm Jani, I want to automate DevOps. And then the assistant says, hello, Jani, I'm here to help you. So this is the initial context that we uh, define. And from there, we build on. So once the context starts to build, what we do is to basically invoke ChatGPT. Now look at the model. This is GPT 3.5 Turbo, and this is not the completion endpoint based on the DaVinci. This is the brand new model that uh, ChatGPT is based on. So we build the message and pass it on to the API, and we return the output which is coming as a JSON payload. But the problem with ChatGPT is it comes with a lot of explanation before and after the actual artifact. It also explains what needs to be done and we want to get rid of it. Fortunately, the code snippet or the configuration snippet is wrapped in a specific set of strings. So what I have done is I have written a small function that takes the output and strips everything apart from the actual artifact that we need, you know, like the Docker file or the YAML file. So we extract the artifact that lives between these three triple quotes uh, that are kind of wrapping the artifact. And once we get that, we go ahead and save the output into a disk file. So pretty straightforward. And again, a disclaimer, by no means this is production grade. Uh, this is a very, very early prototype to show you what can be done with uh, ChatGPT when it comes to DevOps and AOps. To make this simple, I've also saved some prompts and these prompts will help us ask the right question to ChatGPT because ChatGPT is highly non-deterministic. You know, every time you ask a question, it comes back with something very different. So 
uh, we need to make sure we ask the right set of questions by embedding the right prompts. So I have saved them and I'm going to make this available to you to kind of replicate this environment. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to switch to my terminal. And uh, here I have a directory called artifacts and I'm going to watch this as we start interacting with the AI ops bot. So now I'm going to launch my ops.py uh, Python script which is interacting with ChatGPT. This is the problem. Now I need to basically source uh, OpenAI bin activate. All right. So now let me go to the AI ops and launch the ops.py. Okay. Now this is going to initially ask us for the directory where we're going to store the artifacts. And uh, I already created a directory called artifacts. So I'm going to feed this. Now enter the task. Our goal here is to build a simple Flask Python based application and then wrap that into a Docker file, push that image to Docker Hub and then wrap that image into a YAML file, deploy it in Kubernetes and expose that as a node port based service typical workflow that you would use from code to deployment when you are targeting microservices. So the very first thing that I want to do is generate code for a hello world web app with Python and Flask and I don't want any comments and explanation. Now this is a prompt to chat GPT. So I'm going to enter this and I'm going to call this app.py. So the output of chat GPT will be stored in app.py. Now there we go. This is the code that you see in red is what is generated by chat GPT and it is stored in app.py and you see that in my artifacts directory there is a brand new file called app.py. Perfect. Once we have the app.py we also need to generate the requirements.txt which is useful in building the docker file. So I'm going to ask chat GPT to generate contents of requirements.txt for the flask app again with no commands and no comments. This might become a bit tricky. So bear with me as I tweak the prompts till I get the right output. So obviously I want to get requirements.txt. That is the output file. Now, perfect. So now it generated the requirements.txt with exactly one module, which is Flask. So later on, when we actually build a Docker file, it is going to pick up uh, this requirements.txt. So now that we have the source code and requirements.txt, let's go ahead and generate the Docker file uh, to build the actual image. So now I'm going to ask chat GPT to generate a Docker file for the Flask app while copying app.py and requirement.txt. Again, no comments and explanation. We don't want uh, anything else. So let's see what this does. Now, obviously I want to store this under a Docker file. So now perfecto, this has generated uh, the actual, the actual uh, Docker file. You know, you, you see the uh, comments, uh, I mean the, the actual commands without the comments, uh, but I see there is a little bit of a problem. You know, it is, uh, it is, it has added a line that is not a legitimate command to run inside a Docker file. So we'll give it another shot. Now, the best way to get what you want is to basically say without comment. So, you know, I'm tweaking this a little bit till I get what I want. So now I'm going to save this again to Docker file. A little bit of prompt engineering. Now it is even empty. So let's get this right. Uh, I'm going to say without comments and explanation. Okay, this is going to be Docker file. There we go. So now we got it right. So we have, you know, everything that is needed. Uh, it is 
basically setting the work dr it is copying the requirements.txt it has uh, uh, created all the lines that are needed to build the docker file perfect now i'm going to ask a slightly complex question to chat gpt you know uh, now give me the command to build the image with the tag janakiram m slash aops demo that will push it to docker hub and my username is janakiram m the repo is aops demo and obviously i'm going to call this as build.sh so now this is going to give us three commands three commands written inside the shell script docker login docker build and docker push perfecto so now uh, we we literally finish the ci part of the devops pipeline once that is done i'm going to ask chat gpt to create a kubernetes deployment called aops demo for container image that we just built with port 5000 getting exposed without any commands so let me run this and we are going to save this into app deploy dot yaml now this is going to uh, okay now it is empty another shot app deploy dot yaml okay bear with me as i try this it is going to take uh, a couple of attempts till we get it right okay perfecto there we go now if you actually see it has generated everything that we need to deploy this image into kubernetes so the deployment is called aops demo it is based on the image that we build from uh, the build script so now that we have the artifact for uh, the deployment i'm going to ask kubernetes to generate a script to deploy this you know assuming i'm i'm completely dumb i don't even know what to do with this yaml file so i'm going to ask chat gpt on how do i deploy this app dot deploy with no comments and explanation so i'm going to call this as deploy app dot sh so it's going to generate a shell script and that shell script has one and only one command which is kubectl apply a no brainer all right once we have the deployment done we need to expose this as a service so i'm going to ask the same thing to chat gpt create a kubernetes service yaml file to expose aops demo deployment uh, now this is going to be a bit of a problem because we actually got this called aops demo so i'm going to tweak this a little bit uh, it is not aops demo deployment now we need to ask to expose aops demo which is the deployment name uh, so that is the actual prompt and we're going to uh, save this under app service dot yaml now let's see if this actually generates okay perfecto so now it has generated a node port based uh, service but there is again a problem it is also including kubectl apply uh, which i don't want so i'm going to run this again uh, in order to make sure i get the output so app service dot yaml and hopefully uh, this time it returns okay now now it is pretty straightforward uh, it has generated exactly what we want you know it is a service with no fuss and finally i'm going to ask how do i deploy this yaml file called app service.yaml that was generated in the previous step with no comments and explanation and i'm going to save this into another bash script called deploy svc.sh now if this works well we need to see one and only one command which is kubectl apply and there we go all right so now we have everything everything that we need to go ahead and build uh, so now you know if you look at the number of shell scripts we have a build file we have a deployment file so let me change the permissions for all the script files and i'm going to run build.sh okay 
So now it is asking me for my Docker credentials. So last pass. Okay. But anyways, I'm going to input my credentials and then this is going to build the Docker file. Perfect. So now that's the first step. You know, think of this as the CI step involved in your DevOps pipeline. It is pulling the requirements.txt uh, and it is going ahead and building the entire image. I didn't write a single line of script. I just prompted ChatGPT what I wanted. Okay, so let's wait for this to finish. And what this does is it basically builds the image and pushes that to Docker Hub. Perfect. Okay, once this is done, all I need to do is uh, deploy it to my Kubernetes cluster. But do I have Kubernetes? Let me check. Yes, I do have a Kubernetes cluster. So let me show you what I have. So I have a freshly baked dev cluster based on K3S. So now, we need to go ahead and deploy the YAML file artifacts generated by ChatGPT. So if we look at the shell scripts, there is a deploy app and then there is deploy SVC. So now I'm going to run deploy app. So this is going to create the deployment called AIOps demo. Okay. Now let's see if this is, yes, there we go. Now that is being deployed while that is still happening. I will go ahead and run the deploy svc.sh, which is going to deploy our service. Now we have the Flask application running as a deployment, which is exposed as a service. So now I'm not going to show you a curl uh, with a hello world, but you get the idea. Now look at what we have done. We basically generated everything from source code all the way to the deployment artifact. Now I can take this to the next level by uh, scaling out the replicas and I can uh, implement a sidecar. I can do observability. I can do everything without writing a single line of actual configuration or code. Now that is the beauty of AI ops. And, and this is just the beginning. We have just crashed the surface. And eventually when this becomes much more robust and when we train and fine tune the model with more and more DevOps driven commands and context, it becomes much more intelligent. So this is a great way to infuse chat GPT into your DevOps pipelines and workflows. So folks, that was a very quick demo of chat GPT getting integrated with DevOps. I hope you found this useful. I'm going to polish the script a little bit and upload it to GitHub, share the link in the video. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is Janaki Ram signing off.